my dudes and welcome back to another video. Today, we're not playing Animal Crossing, but we are playing The Sims 4, specifically the Cottage Living Pack. This is gonna be our first Let's Play from that um, expansion pack and I'm very excited about it. We already made our character, her name is Pika. We made her obviously based off of our favorite Animal Crossing character. If you missed that video, I will link it down in the description so you can go watch it. But we're gonna be playing with her for the first time and I'm extremely excited. Okay, so apparently I picked this house. I do not remember buying a house. <laughs> Is this not the cutest darn Sim you've ever seen in your entire life? Look at her. I'm obsessed. I forgot how cute we made her. Oh, and her house is very nice too. I bought it already furnished. We already have a chicken coop. Oh, uh, we're gonna be buying chickens. I think we're gonna plant some things. Let's just, I'm gonna have her sit because that just seems safe. I'm very worried for some reason that she's gonna die like immediately. I am actually the worst at taking care of my Sim's needs. I normally have the cheat on where I disable their need decay. So this is gonna be interesting. We only have 171 simoleons. Before we get started, let's see if there's anything in the house that we can just sell for some quick cash because we don't have a lot of it <laughs> look at the door that's so cute do we really need this this seat right here we could get 160 simoleons for that the plant i mean we don't need it we don't need plants i'll probably end up like redecorating her house anyway with, like an unlimited amount of money a few moments later sorry pico i just tore apart your house but it's for a good uh cause okay so we're gonna get some oversized crop seeds one mushroom and one watermelon i just want pico to be the best little gardener and i already i can just feel it like she's gonna do amazing look at her already she looks in her element right here she looks so happy wow <laughs> look at this is the cutest picture i've ever seen in my yeah. whole life oh okay i also forgot that we have a calendar now i think before the calendar only came in sims 4 if you had like the season expansion i could be very wrong <laughs> but now we have the calendar and saturday is the finchwick chicken fair which if we get there i would really like to enter um i think to enter we need eggs and chickens so we should probably do that get some chickens oh they're so expensive oh <gasps> look at the babies we'll just get a brown hen and a brown rooster for now look at the chicken hi encouraged to hold egg stocks okay oh my gosh they're so cute look at she's so good with them now we have some chicken feet all over the ground can i just leave that there like will that be good for them to oh oh that's a lot someone's coming over to bring us a fruit cake what are you doing <laughs> she stretched for approximately two seconds and the game is like do you want to make her admit she likes fitness no we have a man at our door <laughs> simon scott he's our neighbor hi friend can i not invite him inside is this not the welcome wagon is he just bringing me a cake Okay, now the welcome wagon is starting. Someone else just came. Who is this? Sarah Scott. All right. This is the most uncomfortable welcome wagon I've ever seen in my entire life. Like they were just looking at her and she's just miserably eating the fruitcake. I feel like I'm third wheeling their date and I don't, I don't like this for her. Send them home. I think we're done with the welcome wagon today. I'm, I've decided Pico's an introvert. <gasps> Look at our garden. Stuff is already growing. We already have a few mushrooms here. Like just the whole ambiance of this pack of the game is so cute and i'm so here for it i'm gonna have her go just to like the main little area of town i think we'll have her buy some groceries maybe talk to some people but i know you need groceries in this game to like make dinner and make different food and stuff so i'm gonna have her like pick up maybe some eggs um some milk just so we can cook something for dinner i don't know like this whole town is so cute look at this like do you not want to live here because i absolutely do i didn't even notice there's a telephone booth right here how cute is that little detail? Just give this place some rain and I will live here for the rest of my life. She's a really cute NPC. I really like her. What's her name? Kim. Kim Goldblum. That's the cutest name I've ever seen. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be getting. A couple eggs, some flour. Should I just buy everything? Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. I just bought a lot of random things. I know our bladder isn't that low, but before we have an incident, <laughs> I'm going to send her to the bathroom because I don't want her to pee herself. And then she's not going to have any friends because who wants to be friends with the like grown girl who just peed herself in the middle of a bar? What is she? Did she just lay down next to her crops and chickens to do sit-ups? She's like, look at this. Check me out. <laughs> okay, I'm back here on the map. And I know that the creature keeper lives somewhere here in like the Bramblewood. Um, so we're gonna go here and kind of like search around. The creature keeper's property is so pretty. Do you see this? This is my dream house. I would love to live in like a nook somewhere. Let's go introduce ourselves to him. Look at, he's so cute. He's just looking at the, he's bored, but he's just looking at the ducks in his little garden. What a sweet Sim. I think they're gonna be good friends. Pico, I'm gonna have you sit right here. Pico definitely has a crush on the creature keeper right now. <laughs> he just walked away. I know she's getting kind of tired, but I found this wild rabbit hole and I would love for her to make a bunny friend. They're like, I'm tired, leave us alone. Pico just wants a pet, okay? I know she's tired, but she's gonna go looking for frogs because she wants an amphibian pet, maybe. <laughs> 
Oh, she got one! A spotted leaf frog, that's all I wanted. Let's have her go to sleep. What do we pick as our sleep outfit again? Oh yeah, the grandma dress! Oh, we had like a teeny tiny glimpse of that. That was so cute. <laughs> Look at all the stuff we can make with all the groceries we bought yesterday. Okay, Pico, your only task is to not catch on fire and die. She's the cutest thing I've ever made. And if she dies, I will cry. She got through cooking breakfast without <laughs> any mishaps. Look at that smile. I'm gonna have her encourage crop growth for both um, sets of plants, crops, whatever. And then she's also gonna spray for bugs because look at all the flies or gnats or whatever around this. She is 1000% in her element here. Pika was born to garden. What is her aspiration? Oh, she wants to be a painter? I forgot about that. Wait, we're gonna have to buy her a canvas. We don't have enough money. I should probably make her have a job, right? That's probably a thing I should do. She lives in a very beautiful place. She doesn't need a TV, right? <laughs> look how expensive it is to paint. We'll have her make a small classic painting. This is her aspiration, like her main aspiration. So we have to let her paint. She's actually pretty good. Is this considered good art? It's better than what I could make. It's a little llama, right? I could never draw a llama. Oh, she can admire her own artwork. She's like, yes, this is good. Look at how good I did. Okay, so I bought Pico a little like cross stitching set. She seems to be having a good time with it. This is like a fun little animation to watch too. Like it's just so relaxing and so cute to see the Sims doing this. Look, she's making a rainbow and the colors match her outfit exactly. Also, we only have 17 simoleons. In our household funds so i should probably get her a job and finding a job in the sims is terrifying to me because i'm always afraid i'm gonna like be late or forget that we have work would i ever do that in real life no but in the sims i will most definitely forget that they're supposed to be doing things that aren't just cross stitching and watering their plants i mean i think pika would obviously want to be a painter let's pick this for her she's a palette cleaner at um a thousand words art gallery she starts tuesday at 9 a.m so congrats pika congrats on the job okay so here's the deal i was just looking to see how much an animal shed would cost because i want to buy cows like th that is my main thing in this game is that we're gonna have a little like cow farm eventually so we're gonna have to move some stuff around to end up being able to fit this first of all we need 500 dollars, which we don't have also let's display our little frog now we have a little pet right here and we can set up our embroidery too we really need to make some money but i think also we really need to make some friends so after she gets home from work today you know she's gonna make that bank there and then she's gonna come home and i think we're gonna find her a friend look at her performance at work she's doing so good <laughs> one eternity later hey she was the one who was really awkward at our housewarming party <laughs> this girl kind of looks like us Look at that. Do they not look kind of similar? There's uh, Cecilia yes. and there's Pico. Nasty. Look at that. Our girl's branching out and making friends, but she's kind of tired. So I'm going to have her nap, which is kind of rude. Like if someone just started napping in the middle of a conversation, I'd be like, what did I do wrong? What happened? <laughs> okay. Pico has been promoted to art book collator. She will now make an additional $2 per hour for a grand total of $23 per hour. <gasps> Wait, we got a bonus of 422 simoleons. So we can buy an animal shed then. Okay, so I changed it up and I did buy the animal shed. I put it over here. I do, however, not know how to put a fence around my property. That's okay because the main thing I wanted to get today is here, our animal shed, which means we can maybe purchase a cow. Oh, <gasps> this is not a drill. Brown cow, sure. That was the cutest music I've ever seen. Oh, oh no, you can't come over right now. I'm admiring this cow. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. She is so cute. Well, I'm very excited. I know this was like a very, very chill little let's play. And just starting out the game, I know it's a little slow, but we're still trying to like find our place here in this little cottage world. So thank you so much for watching. I think in the next episode, we're gonna really get Pico to like expand her farm a little bit. I also need to figure out how to put a fence around this place. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with me a little bit and I'll see you very, very soon in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye!